There was a time when I don't think anybody in their wildest dreams could have guessed what this place down here would become. I say down here because there is also an upstairs, you see. And back in the old days, upstairs was, well... The upstairs were apartments. And they were apartments that were occupied by rather unsavory ladies, should we say, ladies of the night. That's Jim Watkins, who owns the building with the upstairs up there and the downstairs down here in a town with a lot of history, and that's important. You can look at photographs and see there used to be a pier, pretty nice one, a thousand feet long, and also a place where people came down a long flight of stairs and swam in the Natatorium, a shallow cement swimming pool in the ocean. You could go horseback riding. It was really something. Coney Island West, some people called it, and all of it just steps, really, from this place with the upstairs and the downstairs here, particularly this hall, which was where trash from upstairs was dumped. Here. I mean trash. In barrels and out. Coffee grounds, egg cartons, banana peels, discarded copies of the San Diego Union, everything. And they smelled. Not the Union. <laughs> but yeah, it was a very smelly place for the garbage. When Jim bought the place back in the 60s, he cleaned it up down here, of course. But here's where the story takes a little turn. This is the late Swede Thronason, a retired Marine colonel, teacher, partner in the building, and a huge fan of preserving history, who said, let's take all these great pictures and put them down here in this hallway. And so now, any day, every day, you can come here and see what Del Mar was like back in the day. All the time to teach about the history of Del Mar here in this gallery, which used to be a garbage dump. That's right, Del Mar, at what is one of the most familiar buildings in Southern California, 15th and Camino Del Mar, Stratford Square. You'll find it downstairs, full of history and a story to be sure about San Diego.